Hey, what is going on, guys? Chill boy D1 Snipes here. Today, what we're doing is reviewing the AM MRS4 assault rifle from Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid 5, the Phantom Pain. Um, very balanced assault rifle. Uh, this is my the first of my reviews. I plan on doing all of the weapons eventually, but this is the first one that I upgraded fully and the f one that I've used the most and that I know the best. Um, what I'm showing you guys here is just some of the different attachments and uh, stocks, optics that you can put on the rifle. Um, a lot of this stuff is aesthetic. It does not change how the gun shoots, unfortunately. Um, I thought that it would, but one good thing about that is that it is purely aesthetic. And you can make it look however you want. So you can put like an AK stock and an AK uh, clip on this weapon, this M4 type weapon and you can still get like a goofy look and it doesn't affect it so it doesn't make like a crappy weapon or anything like that. Uh, one thing I would like to point out about this weapon is that it is a four shot kill to the body and that's without body armor and then a one shot to the head and it does not go through the helmets it will take a helmet off with one shot and then it'll then you can kill him obviously with a headshot following up after that but for the most part this weapon is fairly weak against um, anybody with body armor or with uh, a helmet so <clears throat> you gotta shoot a guy in the face that's wearing body armor and a helmet which is kinda unfortunate um, against the skulls, um, it's it's pretty much useless. Um, you almost have to have a rocket launcher, an LMG, or an upgraded shotgun to deal with the skulls. Um, I'm not a fan of that, but none of the assault rifles to me seem like they work that well. Even though I'll get more in depth to them later on, uh, just to make sure. But this weapon seems to be. Uh, it's best used at short to medium range distances. Uh, short being the best, I feel like it's best used to clear out like three or four guys really quickly. Um, and it's not good for extended use. So say you're taking out an outpost and you get the, you're doing like a, prison ex a prisoner extract and you need to take out three or four guys real quick and you don't really care if you shoot them or anything, then yeah, if you get seen, you can take out at least three guys with the a reflex mode so it's pretty useful for that as you saw it takes 15 shots to get rid of your silencer so after 15 shots you're just shooting a regular assault rifle and guys will be able to hear you a lot better uh, the silencer isn't the same as the pistol the silencer on the assault rifles is actually a lot louder than the pistol so keep that in mind um, another thing with this weapon is that it's much much better used when just tap shooting or maybe even like a couple round bursts you don't want to run this weapon full auto and here later later in the video I'll show you why the weapon just does not do well firing without the without aiming down sights uh, right here you can see me using the 4x scope and it actually works really well with medium to long range distances because you can tap shoot and with a silencer in this weapon uh, it's you can almost use it as a sniper rifle and that's really really useful uh, not in this situation but in the situation coming up it's actually really useful in taking down several guys really quickly uh, rather than using the bolt action um, so like I said none of the attachments actually affect uh, how the gun how it recoils um, or anything. The the reload speed may be affected, I didn't check, but it may be affected with the double clip. But one thing that actually stood out to me is the optics that you put on it. So with no optics, uh, all of these, I'm gonna call it hip fire sprays, um, just because you're aiming but you're not really aiming. This is no spray control. I'm not doing anything with the controller except holding it down. And the spray with that without an optic is pretty bad. And that's just tap shooting right there. So that doesn't look too bad. You can get by without an optic. 
this is also with the red dot optic so this one is not much better as you can see but with a full auto it's a little bit better now obviously it's not very effective that's not a very long range and you're firing full auto you're just not getting that much out of it so obviously you want to tap shoot or burst fire with the red dot to get the more accurate shots on but you can see that it's a lot better than the having no optic so on the last part of this uh, you can see that just tap shooting is, uh, is much more effective um, or just the burst fire is really good so the one thing that surprises me about this weapon is that if you put an X4 scope on it this will happen and it's really interesting um, the hip fire is still the same nothing special but when you zoom into a 4 even when you're spraying it's a really tight pattern and that's really interesting to me you wouldn't expect that so thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this review i'll catch you guys on the next one be watching out for vid more videos uh, please like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace